Mabuhay guys, Marches here, back in the studio, in the crib, and today I'll be comparing the Why Not 0.2 and the Pro Bands 2018. This was requested actually by a couple of my viewers, so shout out to them. Um, I don't have my phone right now, so you know who you are I'm doing this for you if you haven't subscribed yet guys please do so like this video afterwards and click that notif bell and help me reach to my 5,000 subscribers and right after we reach the 5,000 subscribers like I promised we will be doing some raffles and I'm thinking of some more ideas on how to give back to you stay tuned for that I'm pretty excited we're just planning on how to do it but hopefully you will watch out for that so before we start with the comparison if you haven't watched a full performance review of each shoe, I'll put the link up here. That's the more detailed review of each shoe. The majority of the Why Not 0.2's upper is made out of mesh. And there is also slight hints of synthetic leather over at the wings on specific colorways. So you get different materials depending on the colorway that you have. For my colorway, I have synthetic leather over the midfoot wings and mesh all over. As for the performance of the upper of the Why Not 0.2, it's amazing. You don't need to break it in right off the box. It's very comfortable and the support is awesome on the Wyna 0.2. Lateral stability is there. You won't slide off the footbed at all. You're pretty much locked in on the footbed. I really love the feeling that it really hugs my foot and the support is really there. And comparing to the upper of the Pro Bounce 2018, it's also mostly made out of mesh for the entirety of the shoe. I felt more support on the Wyna 0.2 compared to the Pro Bounce because the Pro Pro Bounce upper, especially on the forefoot, feels like there's an excess space. Although the mesh material doesn't stretch, you feel that there's a little bit of space compared to the Wyna 0.2. You can easily fix it by wearing a very thick sock or putting in sole so your foot will be higher. So it touches the top of your upper, if you get what I mean. So I like the fit better on the Wyna 0.2 compared to the Pro Bounce. But as for the support of the upper of the Pro Bounce, it's very supportive, lateral support is there. As for the heel part of the shoe, as you know, the Wyna 0.2 is a mid-cut shoe compared to the Pro Bounce that I had. It's a low cut. I couldn't compare it to the high cut of the Pro Bounce, which I know they have. But with what I have, I like the heel of the Wyna 0.2 better compared to the Pro Bounce because I was experiencing a bit of heel slippage on the Pro Bounce 2018. It's not that drastic, but I can feel that my ankle is not being wrapped that much. Since the Wyna 0.2 is a mid-cut and there's an extra padding all over your ankle and in your heel, it really felt more secured on the Why Nots. It's very comfy. The cushion and the Achilles pillow on the Why Nots is very, very comfortable and it fits me like a glove. There's no heel slippage whatsoever. So why not for the win in terms of the heel part of the shoe. And now let's move on to the cushion of the shoe. For the Wyna 0.2, there's a four foot zoom in it and cage in injected phylon cushion. While the Pro Bounce uses a full length bounce cushion, the Pro Bounce felt more closer to the ground. Court feel is there. Responsiveness is awesome in the Pro Bounce. And you really can feel the bounciness of the bounce cushion. The Wyna 0.2, four foot zoom in it is very bouncy. It's one of the bounciest four foot zoom unit that I have right now and thanks to the very soft injected phylon carrier you really can feel the bounciness of the zoom unit and what's also nice about this is the injected phylon on the heel it's very very plush so impact protection is amazing on the Wyna 0.2 so that kind of setup is what I really like a very bouncy forefoot and a very nice impact protection on the heel. You lose a little bit of court feel on the Why Nots, but responsiveness is still there, don't worry. So if you're someone who likes court feel better, go with the Pro Bounce. If you want a bouncier forefoot, but sacrificing a bit of court feel, go with the Why Not 0.2, and it has an amazing impact protection compared to the Pro Bounce. Now moving on to the traction of the shoes, the Why Not 0.2 features circular traction pattern which is amazing. Dust pickup is not a problem at all. That's one of the highlights of this shoe. It has a very dependable traction on the clean court. It's beastly, it's amazing. You stop on a dime, it squeaks a lot. While comparing it to the Pro Bounce 2018, the Pro Bounce traction is also amazing. On a clean court, it squeaks loudly, it stops on a dime, but on a dusty court, it picks up a little bit more dust compared to the Why Not 0.2 so that's my deal breaker so I really like the traction on the Why Not 0.2 so Why Not 0.2 for the win for the traction 
As for the price point of the Wynan 0.2, it's 1,000 pesos more expensive than the Pro Vans 2018. Right now, the Pro Vans 2018 is on sale because the 2019 came out already. So I think they're selling it at around 4,000. So if you're more on the budget, you can never go wrong with the Pro Vans. It's an awesome performing shoe. But if you have more budget, go with the Wynan 0.2. I highly recommend that shoe. It's one of my favorites right now. It's part of my rotation. And as for the sizing wise, true to size to the Wyna 0.2, while the Pro Vans 2018 go half a size down. If you're a wide footer, go half a size up. I think the Pro Vans 2018 is a wide footer friendlier shoe. So that's my verdict between the Wyna 0.2 and the Pro Vans 2018. I hope I'll help you guys out once again. This has been Marches. Thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.